Hello, and welcome to another episode of Casual Learning. I'm your host, John Bannon. So, uh, what's the deal with the, the problem of hell? Uh, this is a uh, essentially a logical uh, explanation uh, that sets forth the problem of hell. So, first, an omniperfect God would not damn anyone to hell without having a morally sufficient reason that is a very good reason based on moral considerations to do so. So what this is saying is, well, if God is all perfect, uh, including all perfect in his goodness, then he wouldn't send somebody to hell without a sufficiently good moral reason to do so. Second statement. It is not possible for God to have a morally sufficient reason to damn anyone. Uh, this argument is basically, hell is so awful, and the punishment is forever, eternal, that there's nothing you could do on earth to deserve an eternity of punishment, like, like hell. Uh, therefore, if God sends you to hell, it can't be for sufficiently moral considerations, be essentially because your lifespan on earth is limited, whereas hell is forever. So what is it that anyone could do that could be so awful in their limited lifespan on earth to deserve uh, a, an eternity of punishment in hell? Uh, three, therefore it is not possible for God to damn anyone to hell. Uh Okay, so what's the solution to the problem of hell? Uh, and the solution is quite simple uh, and obvious if you think about it. Uh, the flaw in this argument is number two. It is not possible for God to have a morally sufficient reason to damn anyone. Well, it is possible for God to have a morally sufficient reason to damn somebody to an eternity of punishment, pain, and suffering in hell. It is, there, there is a sufficient morally acceptable reason for doing so. Uh, and I'll explain that to you. So, in accordance with the, the teachings of Jesus Christ, Jesus says there's a hell, and that on Judgment Day, Jesus is going to send the evildoers and wrongdoers to hell for an eternity of punishment. Jesus is also very merciful and loving. Um, so you gotta, you really got a pretty be a pretty bad person for Jesus to send you to hell. <laughs> you really do. But he will nonetheless. So, 
Um, you know, why is there a hell? Well, as Jesus tells us, we live here on earth, we die, and then we're resurrected, and judgment day occurs, and Jesus decides whether to send us to heaven or send us to hell. And um, there's a separation that occurs between good people and evil people. Um, good people are sent to heaven, and they are separated uh, for eternity from the evil people. Uh, and, it, and that's for their benefit. Uh, good people shouldn't have to put up with uh, evil people for eternity. Uh, that's, that's not good for them. Um, you know, if you think about it, uh, you go to heaven, do you, do you want to be surrounded or have evil people around for eternity? Of course not. I mean, considering all the harm and problems evil people cause on earth, you know, in heaven, you don't have to put up with that anymore. Thank God, right? So there's a separation between the uh, good people and evil people. Good people are put in heaven, evil people are put in hell. But Jesus also came to save as many people as he possibly can and have them uh, go to heaven where there will be eternal life in the bliss of heaven. Um, so, in a way, the earth is a testing ground to determine uh, whether you deserve heaven or hell. So, uh, God, Jesus, would prefer that we all went to heaven. Uh, that's where the, the greater good lies, that we all go to heaven. Uh, but the reality is, people have free will, and if they choose, they don't want to go to heaven. They're not going to go to heaven. They're going to go to hell. So, God, God, in his perfect goodness, uh, wants to give everyone every opportunity possible to reform themselves, uh, do God's will in accordance with uh, Jesus' teachings, and go to heaven. Uh, so, he, so what is God doing? Again, God is trying to give uh, people the greatest incentive possible to repent and do God's will and go to heaven. This is what a, a perfect, loving God would do. This is exactly what God does. So, he, so what, you know, what's the point of hell? The point of hell is to give you an incentive to reform yourself, to repent, and so that you go to heaven and not hell. God doesn't want you to go to hell, but God is using hell as the greatest threat conceivable to you to get you to repent so that he can send you to heaven. Hell is, in that sense, the greatest good in terms of a threat to you to get you to reform or repent. I mean, if you think about it, um, you know, when you're talking about eternity spent in heaven or hell, uh, wouldn't you want the strictest penalty possible to be asserted against you? If, as a threat, in order to get you to repent, because that's your best chance of repenting and going to heaven. So that's what hell is all about. God is giving you the best chance possible to get into heaven. And he does that through the greatest threat of punishment possible, which is hell. He's not giving you a half threat. Um, because you might equivocate if it's only a half threat. He's giving you the greatest threat conceivable. Hell. There is no threat 
worse than this. This is for this is for eternity. This is pain and suffering beyond anything imaginable on earth. to have to deal with Satan and all the other evildoers in hell for eternity. You can't think of anything worse than this. This is as bad as it can possibly get. This is the greatest threat God could possibly imagine to use against you to give you every, every reason to repent and go to heaven instead. So that's why there's a hell. And this hell, it has to be a real threat. So hell has got to be real. It's not a threat if it isn't real. So in this sense, God is doing the greatest good in terms of attempting to get you to repent and go to heaven by using the most extreme threat of punishment that is possible. You know, um, if you're going to spend an eternity in hell, <laughs> don't you want to know that at least God made the greatest threat that he possibly could against you to try to get you to change your mind and repent? Yeah, you don't want to be sent to some place like that unless God has pulled out all the stops in trying to threaten you. Now, hopefully, you're not the sort of person who needs threats to reform and repent, but lots of people do. They do need threats. God recognizes this, and he provides the ultimate threat. So hell is actually uh, a good. It's, in fact, the greatest good God can think of in terms of attempting uh, to get you to repent and go to heaven. So uh, the existence of hell is um, quite consistent with a perfectly good God. Uh, so, uh, there is no problem with hell at all. It's actually, it, it actually is. There is a morally sufficient reason to send people to hell. And that is because hell is the greatest threat that God can use to try to get you to change your mind and repent so you can go to heaven. But God is not going to send evil people to heaven because that wouldn't be good for the good people who are in heaven. They shouldn't be subject to evil. So, unless you reform and repent on that and are no longer evil, you, you don't get into heaven. You don't deserve it. Um, the good people don't want you there for eternity. So this is where you end up. But it's the greatest threat God could, could use to wake you up and get you to repent. That's a good. You know, you know, should God use a half measure threat instead? Should God use a threat of, well, you know, on Judgment Day, if I don't deem you worthy of going to heaven, I'll just poof you out of existence. How's that? So you won't exist. Right? Well, that's not nearly the threat that this is. Oh, uh, because there's lots of evil people that would take that deal. Oh, you mean I could behave as badly as I want on Earth and the worst that's going to happen to me is I'll just cease to exist? Okay. Well, see, that's not for their own good. Their own 
good would be for them to go to heaven? Not to agree to a deal where they cease to exist. That's not for their greater, that's not for their good, their personal good. God is looking out um, for everybody and trying to give the greatest good he can. You know, a half threat like you'll cease to exist. You know, you use that and you're going to lose a lot of people from existence, whereas you could have saved a lot and those people could have gone to heaven if you had used the ultimate threat. So, this is why God uses the ultimate threat. It's for everyone's good. It's for your good. He has to use the ultimate threat to wake some people up. To make them repent so that they can go to heaven. It's for their good. Um, and, you know, if the ultimate threat isn't enough to get somebody to repent, then that person is clearly evil and deserving of hell. I mean, if the ultimate threat isn't enough of a threat, well, then you're talking about an evil person. That person doesn't deserve heaven. And the, and the good people in heaven shouldn't be subjected to that person. That person deserves hell. So if the ultimate threat is not enough of a threat, then you're exactly the sort of person who deserves hell. That's an easy call. Easy judgment made by God. If you don't respond to the ultimate in threats, you are so evil, you deserve the ultimate threat. Uh, so, uh, hell, hell is essentially a way for God to judge you. Um, God is trying to make, or Jesus is trying to make absolutely 100% sure that you're not good enough to go to heaven. He doesn't want to lose you, but, you know, he, so he, he, he wants to make absolutely sure you deserve hell. So he pulls out the ultimate threat. And if you still don't respond to that, then he's 100% sure you deserve hell. And you deserve hell! So, you get what you deserve. That's morally sufficient too. Morally sufficient reason to send somebody to hell. So it's really God's perfect loving nature that makes him pull out the ultimate threat. Because he wants to make 100% sure that you should be in heaven. And... If you, don't, if you don't consider the ultimate threat enough to make you repent, then morally, you deserve hell. You deserve where you go, and, and God is justified in doing that and sending you there. Uh, so, uh, I hope you understand this explanation for hell and the problem of hell. Hell isn't a problem. Uh, it's really a, an indication of God's great love for us and his great desire for us to go to heaven, uh, that he would pull out the ultimate threat uh, to make 100% sure that you shouldn't go to hell and you deserve, oh, you shouldn't go to heaven and you deserve hell. So, uh, hell, in that sense, that, that ultimate threat is actually a good thing. It's a good thing that God gives us the best, the ultimate threat that he can to try to get us to repent, to go to heaven. That's a good thing. If you were in hell, you would want to know that God tried his hardest to make sure you went to heaven. And a perfectly good God would do that. And that's exactly what God is doing with hell. And if you're in hell, you deserve it. Because this threat wasn't enough. The ultimate threat was not enough. Well, that says you're an evil person. And you deserve this. So don't complain. Um, okay. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'll address your comments, or maybe I'll do a future video. 
uh, please press the subscribe button. I appreciate it. And uh, take care.